back in Buddha. Well, hello there, chaps. Documents, please. Okay, so we loved Budapest. And every time I go back to Europe, I seem to be reminded again and again how amazing it is to live there. It's crazy to me that you could be grabbing a croissant in Paris one morning, and by lunchtime be roaming the streets of Budapest trying to sniff out the best chicken paprikash in town. Budapest is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. The place is never boring, historically and culturally so rich, there's tons of young people, you can get amazing beer and food for cheap, and to get around they have an easy and affordable public transport system. It's basically all there. It's everything you ever wanted in a European city at a fraction of what you'd pay compared to like a London or a Paris. So in this travel guide, we'll be showing you guys the top 15 things you have to do and see in Budapest. The first thing you have to do in Budapest is listen to the song Budapest by George Ezra. Okay, so the actual first thing you need to know is that Budapest is a city that's split in two. You have the Pesh side and the Buda side, joined together by the chain bridge. And you'll probably end up crossing the bridge several times while exploring this amazing city. So when you make it to the Buda side, you'll probably end up taking the funicular up Buda Hill to see Buda Castle to rub Buda's belly. Wait, what? Oh, we're not in Japan? Wrong Buddha. Buddha Castle is a stunning Baroque palace. And if you get there around noon, you can also see the changing of the guard. And what's really cool is only a short walk away from Buddha Castle, you'll find Matthias Church and Fisherman's Bastion. Matthias Church and Fisherman's Bastions blend together so well. At first I thought it was actually the same thing, but it just turns out they were built around each other by the same architect. And one thing that's really cool about Fisherman's Bastion is you'll notice it has seven turrets, and each one of those turrets represents one of the Hungarian tribes that founded Hungary in 1895. You can also climb up Matthias Church's tower. It's about 200 steps, so you know a little bit of cardio there, but it's honestly worth it. You get an incredible bird's eye view of the city, and you can also get a great perspective of the Hungarian parliament there. And you can also hike up Gellert Hill to see the Citadella and Liberty statue for what I would consider to be the best view of the city especially in the evening when everything starts to light up. And one thing I did forget to mention is right behind the Matthias Church and Fisherman's Bastion is this really cool museum called the Hospital in the Rock, which served as both a nuclear bunker and a hospital in the caverns under Buda Castle. I wouldn't miss it. And a quick tip we recommend is to grab a drink on the water across from the Hungarian Parliament building. It's an amazing view. This building is just, wow, like it's, it's incredible. First of all, it's massive. It's kept in pristine condition. And I was told it took 17 years to build and that the architect sadly went blind in 1904 before he could see the building completed. The Hungarian parliament is one of the most impressive buildings I have ever seen. You basically can't miss it because it's, it's in the heart of the city and you'll end up walking by it multiple times. It's, it's beautiful. So now that you're on the Pest side, another beautiful building that's located behind the Hungarian parliament is the St. Stephen's Basilica. There you can climb up one of its towers for a great view of the Pest side of the city. Walking around the city and exploring Budapest, you definitely build up an appetite. So we'd recommend either going to the most famous Central Market Hall or a slightly smaller market but still cool Hold Street Market. And Budapest is one of the best cities to be hungry in because they provide the goods. And 
either of these places, you'll be able to find hearty goulash, chicken paprikash, fisherman soup, long gauche, strudel, all the staples basically. Whole Street Market is usually less crowded than the bigger and much more touristy Central Market Hall. And make sure to get some paprika for your friends and fam back home. And if a Hungarian offers you a shot of palenka, accept it. And if you're even looking for international foods, they've got plenty of that as well. One thing I did forget to mention was this really cool place called Margaret Island, which is a really cool island. It's literally located on the Danube between Buda and Pest. You can take a ferry to get there. It's where a lot of the locals go to exercise or hang out. There's a track, an outdoor workout area. It's honestly just a cool spot to people watch and get away from the noise and tourists. Another thing you have to do is go to City Park and visit the Sicheni Thermal Baths. Budapest has more thermal water springs than any other capital in the world, and the Sicheni Baths is the most iconic one in all of Budapest. you'll end up walking through Hero Square and the Millennium Monument, which is also a really cool place to hang out. And very similar to Fisherman's Bastion's seven turrets, here you'll find seven statues representing the seven tribes that founded Hungary. There's also a lot of really talented street performers there. And at that same city park, you'll also be able to find the Vaida Hunyad Castle. Just make sure to get your tickets a few days in advance. And of course in the evening time, Budapest pub scene is next level. The ruined pubs are what they're known for, the most famous one being Simpla Kurt. Our personal favorite was actually a smaller, more local spot called Kisuzin. And lastly, there's this museum that was one of the most soul-stirring museums that we've ever been to. It's called the House of Terror. It's located on Andrassy Street. It was actually the former headquarters of the Nazis and then became headquarters for the communist secret police. It's sort of an eerie experience and a grim reminder of the dark side of Hungary's past, but I wouldn't skip it. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you can make it to Budapest one day. The city surprised us in so many ways. And as always, if you enjoy our content, please subscribe and like this video. We are a new channel, so that does help us to boost the algorithm. Hope you're staying safe and healthy at home. See you next time. We're at the end.